Sync your Fitbit Charge 2. This video shows how to solve problems syncing a Fitbit Charge 2 to a Windows 10 computer. My operating system is Windows 10 Pro with the Anniversary 2016 update. This video will be updated if I encounter other problems. With the fixes described in this video, the Charge 2 does a great job of monitoring your exercise and sleep schedule, and the Charge 2 monitors your heart rate. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. If you are unable to sync your Charge 2 using a Windows 10 computer, here are the steps. Uninstall the new Fitbit app. It works erratically and seems to sometimes interfere with the old app when both are installed. Next, download the old Fitbit Connect app for the PC, not for Windows 10. Plug in the Fitbit dongle. Order one if you don't have one from an old Fitbit. Start the old app. Connect the Fitbit if necessary using the instructions for Fitbit Connect. Here's how to do those steps. Click the Windows logo to display the list of apps. Go down to where Fitbit is. Now I've already uninstalled the new Fitbit app. This is the old one. But here's how you uninstall an app. Right click it. You, if there's an arrowhead over here, you click that. Then find the program which is this one. Remember yours would be the new Fitbit does not is not called Fitbit Connect, it's just called Fitbit. You would right click the new Fitbit app and select uninstall. Then follow the instructions to uninstall it. Then what you do is you go to the Fitbit website. Go to Fitbit.com slash setup. You don't want the one for Windows 10, so you want to click Fitbit Connect is not for Windows 10, and that's the one you want. So click PC to download the app. Make sure this is blue, PC, click download. Fitbit Connect is the one you're downloading. Let's go ahead and download it. Now I've already installed it, but if you are installing it, click Tools, click Downloads, double click Fitbit Connect, that will install it. Close the window. You may or may not have to reconnect the Charge 2 with the old app that you just downloaded and installed. It may already be connected. If you do need to connect it, go ahead and connect it. You do need to plug in a Fitbit dongle for the old app you're now using. There is one plugged into that socket on the left side of the picture. It's a little hard to see. If you don't have a dongle, get one from Fitbit. I would suggest you pin the Fitbit Connect app to the taskbar. Click the carrot by Fitbit Connect. Go down to the program Fitbit Connect, right click. Select More, pin to taskbar. So there it is. Open it. If you need to connect it, it'll tell you. You may not have to connect it because you had it connected to the new app that you removed before you reinstall the old app. Click Sync Now. I find on my computer that I need to generally be closer than three feet to the computer for the sync to work. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you can sync further away, but I have to be within about three feet of the dongle. I have the dongle on top of my desk plugged into one of those extensions, little weighted USB socket that sits on your desk and has a cord that plugs into your computer's USB socket. That makes it easy for me to have the charge to within three feet of the dongle when I sync. And then you can click here, of course, to go to the dashboard. I do find that it will reliably sync with the old app and using the dongle. It would not 
reliably sync with the new app when, and using the computer's Bluetooth. You may sometimes get a failure message on this window and if you do simply move your Fitbit closer to the dongle and press try again which will appear in the lower right corner. I find that that usually solves sync problems now. Recently when syncing the Charge 2 a message popped up saying approximately oops there's a problem with Fitbit Fitbit Connect service has stopped. Restart the service or reinstall Fitbit. The problem went away when I restarted the Fitbit Connect service, and here's how to do that. You press Control Alt Delete and select Task Manager on the window. That window does not record. Once the Task Manager window appears, click Services, click Open Services, Locate Fitbit Connect Service. Select it. Then click Restart the Service. And then close the windows. Again, I'm running Windows 10 with the anniversary update. If you have a different system, you may have different results with the Charge 2. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.